Hi guys, today I have a taste test for you. I am uh, on course and I have discovered Whole Foods in the United States, which is a fantastic store. I've been getting uh, bottled water there, which uh, is fantastic, spring water. And I've been walking through the store and they have a, a cornucopia of whole um, natural foods, organic foods, um, they also have a uh, food court sort of section which looks really yummy I haven't tried that out but I, I hope to and one of the things that I found tonight while I was on my journey to pick up water uh, for, for my lunches and, and whatnot was a tea that um, I've heard about online um, it's called kombucha so we'll uh, we'll roll the intro and then we'll come back and I will show you the kombucha okay so we're back and what I found was this oh, there's a glare can you see that organic raw kombucha um, Living Food for the Living Body. GT's Enlightened is the brand, I guess. It's 480 milliliters or 16 fluid ounces for you um, uh, states folks. And it has an expiry date on it. Um, it looks like it expires in April of this year and it's suggested use best uh, best results drink at least one bottle a day of course they're going to say that they're selling it product can be consumed before during or after meals to ensure maximum freshness drink within three days after opening And for the ingredients, it's 100% GT organic raw kombucha and 100% pure love. Wow, that, that's a selling point right there. Anyway, what, what kombucha is, is basically fermented black tea. And if I like the taste of this, I will probably... start making one of, of for myself when I get back home uh, it says do not shake keep refrigerated so uh, let's give it a whirl let's open it up have a little tab there to take off interesting choice it's a glass bottle and you can I don't know if you can see there's some floaties in there that's called uh, the mother Sort of like uh, your apple cider vinegar would have a, a mother. It's uh, just sediment, enzymes, whatever. Uh, it's a glass bottle, but they chose a plastic top. You would thought that they would have chosen metal or something, you know, being organic and loving the earth. You know. Okay. Let's. Oh. It's bubbly. I open it and there's some bubbles floating to the top. You heard the little pssst. Ooh, smelling it. It's definitely fermented. It's got a very pungent sort of smell to it. Um, tangy. Let's wish me luck. It's actually not bad. It's got um, it's it's got a, a bubbly mouth feel to it. Um, it's almost like hard hard cider or um, goodness. 
I'll apologize about that. Um, it, it's actually good. It smells awful, but it actually doesn't taste bad. Oh, yeah, I would drink that on a regular basis. Cool. It's uh, it almost has like a white. A white wine sort of taste, mouth feel. Uh, it doesn't dry your mouth out like a nice dry white wine, um, but it has that sort of flavor. So, yeah, if you're at all interested, if you you live in the states um, and you have a Whole Foods next door to you or down the road. I I recommend that you try the GT's organic raw kombucha. Go get your booch on. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, comments, please uh, give me a thumbs up and comment down below. Do you drink kombucha? Do you buy it? And if you uh, you do drink it, yeah. Do you drink kombucha and do you buy it or do you make it yourself at home? Please leave a, an answer to that question down below and uh, we'll see you in the next one real soon.